Okay, so we got packages. I don't know why I'm screaming. <laughs> we got two of them. And you can separate them so that you can install them better one by one. You can use your tool to leverage and you can break that. It doesn't really matter. There we go. Those big staples are going to come out. Careful to not put your fingers on loose bees that are roaming around because if you squish them, they will sting you. Not because they want to, but because you're squishing them. There we go. There we go. Don't throw that in the ground on the ground and then step on them. We're gonna do the other side. Ooh, they're heavy. Oh, the other piece of advice is don't put your fingers on the screen or you will get stung. And you can use your hive tool properly for more leverage. There you go. There's one package. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to undo this one as well. There we go. And There we go. Okay. So we're going to install one package only in this one. This is for our youth scholarship. And if I had a spray of sugar water, I would probably do that, but I don't have that. So I'll do without it. So we're going to undo that staple right here. Try to anyway. There we go. And do the strap for the queen cage. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tilt the package, open up the hive a little bit more so they have space to get in. And I'm actually gonna close it here so it makes a cavity that's dark, that's inviting. They're gonna try to go that way and they're gonna find the comb. So we're gonna tilt the package. There we go. And that's gonna make it a lot easier to pull out that can. There you go, and to grab that queen cage. So before we do that, we're gonna tap this package down one time so that they all fall to the ground and my queen fell in <laughs> so I shouldn't have there you go there you go we will catch her on the way out ready let's go Put it down like this. Try to get the bees to go to the comb. And I'm gonna tap them in there. Okay, I don't know where my queen went, but I will find her. I'm putting them, pouring them in there. Still haven't found my queen. Okay, there she is. I saw her. She's right there. Okay. She's alive and well. She's a great looking queen, actually. And they are fanning. So what we're going to do is we're going to 
leave her in that cage for a bit and we're going to set her up between the bars over there. Try not to crush bees. Right by the comb. Like this. crush bees get them out of the way and pinch that queen cage hook it if it's metal if you need put a pin on it if it's a strap and then this way we're gonna start closing this don't put your fingers on bees and then you kind of gently bump them out of the way easy does it They are calling each other to the queen. There we go. Gentle on the way down to the walls of the hive as well, because there's bees everywhere, so you don't want to crush them either. You can shake them a little bit if you've got too many of them there. Go bump, bump, bump. And once they're out of the way, you go down and zigzag this way. Seesaw. All right, we're gonna Put our fingers right here and make sure it's pushed towards the front of the hive right here. So this is going pretty well. We're gonna leave these guys right here for now. And I'm gonna put more bars. So this is what I was saying. If you want a little bit of smoke to get them out of the way, he can do that. Not much smoke, just a little bit to get them out of the way. But really, I don't need to do that. All I need to do is just make sure I close my bars. And instead of closing them one by one, seesaw, seesaw, seesaw down, they get out of the way I'm gonna close three or four at a time that I'm gonna set up right here and I could do four but I grabbed only three so same thing don't pinch little legs or little heads and go down gently and see so there you go we got this package that we're gonna install somewhere else I'm going to put it with the others that are waiting to get installed. There we go. And it's best to do this when the day is coming down because this way they'll be more prone to staying. Oh, and I forgot, we're going to need to install the sugar um, syrup because they need that. So I'm going to make space for that. And I'm going to grab a couple of sticks. Mm, this one's great. Mm, this one's great. There we go. I'm going to drop that. So we have a few dead bees that were in the package, but they will clean that off hopefully. So we're setting the sticks down there. We're grabbing our can of syrup and we're putting it right on top of there. The reason is that we want the bees to be able to go underneath and get the syrup in the hive. Okay, so we're gonna get these out. I'm gonna try to shake some more of those bees into the hive. And then the other ones we're going to put right under mm -hmm. the entrance, making sure that they can get out this way. There we go. And hopefully they'll climb up. Okay, a couple more bars.
and I left the cork on because I want my bees to get used to that queen for another day or so and I'll come back and free them up. Gently push down. There we go. Bees are in. I've got a few casualties that didn't make it through the package process, but we're good to go now. So we're going to let them orient and find their way through. Hopefully the lemongrass I put on the entrance will help. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Oh yes, that's pretty good. guys out so we can close the lid. There we go. They have found the entrance right here and they're orienting and getting set up. These guys will naturally migrate over there since it's the only entrance left now. And you can see the bees are a little confused but they're finding their home. So that was the easy way to install a package, this time with a comb at the entrance to help them stay.